Welcome to the electrochemistry unit. Uh, in the electrochemistry unit, we talk about how chemicals create electricity for us, like inside a battery, and how we use electricity to create chemicals for us. Uh, it's another type of reaction. So a redox reaction, reduction and oxidation, I'll get into that in a minute. Um, a redox reaction is another type of reaction. Like it's in science 10, we learn single replacement, double replacement, combustion, etc. We're adding to that list. So you had five in grade 10. We're adding to that list. A redox reaction is another kind of reaction. And just like formation reactions can also be combustion reactions. Um, this, these you've seen before, but so mm, what I'm saying is, so here you would have called this a formation reaction. It is also a redox reaction. Both things are true. And this is cellular respiration. It's also combustion of glucose and it's a redox reaction. So when I say it's a redox reaction, I mean there was a transfer of, of electrons involved here. Now you've heard that phrase before, a transfer of electrons. And when you heard it, it was like this. We have magnesium, it's in group two. It has two valence electrons. That makes it um, unstable because it doesn't have a full octet. And so it really wants to get rid of those two electrons. And when it does, metals lose electrons to become positively charged ions. And so here is its positively charged ion, cation. But this is not, this is a nice pictogram of what's happening or Lewis dot diagram of what's happening, but it isn't a reaction, as in reactants and products. So if I'm writing this again, but I now want to write reactants and products, I'm going to write it like this. Magnesium becomes magnesium 2 plus and it also produced two electrons. One electron, two electrons it produced. This is a loss of electrons. Magnesium lost electrons or produced electrons. They're products. If it's a loss of electrons, we call it an oxidation half reaction. This is only half of the story that's happening. So it's a half reaction. Uh, the other half of the story, like that's up here, right? The magnesium became magnesium two plus. And so the other half of the story is the chlorine. If it lost electrons, something had to gain electrons, right? If I gave away two dollars, somebody has to gain two dollars. So the chlorine, and I'm just going to talk about the atom for a second. A chlorine atom looks like this. It has group seven, so seven valence electrons, and it's missing one in order to have a full octet. So it's very happy to pick up that electron and become negatively charged. Now it's more stable. So this is like a, the skeleton of what's happening here. But actually, these chlorines don't exist as atoms. They exist together. So I, the one chlorine atom and another chlorine atom come together, and they're diatomic. So I have two chlorine atoms that are stuck together. And so each of them will become a Cl minus. So I actually have two Cl minuses that I'm going to form here. And if this one picked up an electron to become Cl minus, and this one picks up an electron to become Cl minus, then in total I have picked up two electrons, one each. And so that's what the equation is going to look like. We have a C, instead of, instead of our little like this, where the electron goes in here, right, the little pictodiagrams. So the chlorine element picks up two electrons and they become two chloride ions. So this is the other half of the story. Because we have gained electrons, it's called reduction. This is the reduction half reaction. It's half the story. And the two halves of the story make up the whole redox reaction of what's happening. The reduction and the oxidation of what's happening in a redox reaction. Yes. So, oh yes, and we memorize this by Leo the lion says grr, and that helps us remember the loss of electrons is oxidation, gain of electrons is reduction. Okay, so this takes a bit of practice, so let's try a few together. Okay, so if you're looking at the reaction and you see that the zinc has become zinc 2 plus, then that forms a bit of a skeleton for you about what's happening. And so this is in this time, like these are all out of your notes, right? In your notes package, so you can be playing along with me today. Um, in this case, we want to make sure that the uh, that we're not really thinking about the science 10 anymore, like two valence electrons and they're lost and they become stable. Um, that's just too hard for our brain to sort of navigate. It's much faster to think about this in a mathematical way, so an algebraic way. I want the left-hand side to equal the right-hand side. That's what we're doing here. 
So, so far this is neutral and this is two positives. And I need to correct this by adding some electrons. So if I add two electrons to this side, now this side's neutral and this side's neutral. That's way faster than kind of going, oh, it had two valence electrons. And, mm -mm. So if I have lost electrons because they're produced, this is now the oxidation half reaction for this comp or for this situation. Let's do this one. Now, the first thing we have to do is we have to balance our species, and then we have to balance our charges. So this one, I already had one zinc, one zinc. But in this case, I have two CLs, and then I have just one CL. That's a I gotta fix that problem first. So I need to put a big two here to have two CLs and two CLs. Now I'm gonna fix my charges. So neutral and two negatives. If I add my electrons to this side, you can see that that's gonna become four negatives, and that side's neutral, problem. So wrong side, I gotta add them to this side, two electrons to that side. Now I have two negatives and two negatives, that's balanced, left-hand side equals the right-hand side. And so this is picking up electrons or gaining electrons. So that's a reduction half reaction, gaining electrons, reduction half reaction. Okay, so those are two very similar to what we just did. Uh, in fact, that one is exactly what we just did, but whatever. Okay, so here, these are a little bit more complicated. I've got a seven minus and a five minus to play around with. I'm gonna have to add two negatives to that side to make seven minus and seven minus. Now the left-hand side equals the right-hand side. And I must have gained electrons, and so this is a reduction half reaction. The one plus, two plus, if I add an electron to this side, it's one plus and one plus. So this is a gaining electrons, which is a reduction half reaction. Here, I want to balance my species, so I'm going to put eight for my sulfurs there. Then I have a 16 negative here and nothing negative there, so I'm going to add 16 electrons there. Gain of electrons is reduction, a reduction half reaction. Uh, the silver nitrate solution. So the one example in your notes is the silver nitrate solution and a piece of zinc. So here, I'm going to write my science 10 reaction first. That's what I'm gonna look at. So the science 10 reaction would be, I have a silver nitrate solution, AgNO3 aqueous, and a piece of zinc. When I say piece of zinc, it's a zinc solid. It's a zinc metal. It's a piece of zinc, not the ion. And I'm gonna take those two and it's gonna single replace. So I have zinc nitrate happening. The zinc is a two plus when it's formed, so that nitrate has to be, uh, the nitrate has to be two of them. And the silver is gonna be by itself, AG. Okay, so these are like setting us up for the, two, for the halves. This is what you're actually gonna really have. Somebody walked in the room for a second there, so I was thrown off. So this is like, this is more like the example you're gonna have. This is just practicing to help us get started. This is more like the questions that you're gonna face. So I have a word equation that I convert into a science 10 problem. I can balance it if I want, but that part's not really important right now. But if I balance it, a big two here, big two here. Now I look, how did it change? What changed and how did it change? I can see that zinc was by itself and now it's a two plus. So I can see that zinc started by itself and now it's zinc two plus. And I'm back to this skeleton problem. I have my species balanced. I'm going to add two electrons in order to make the charges balance. And this is a gain of electrons, which is a reduction half reaction. So this is my reduction half reaction that I've got going on here. And then I look, what else changed? My silvers have gone from charged to neutral. So I started with an AG1 plus and it became AG neutral. I'm ignoring the coefficients, the big balancing numbers. I'm ignoring them. So I have my AG1 pluses becoming AG neutral. How did it do that? Well, I'm back to the skeleton kind of problem. I'm going to add an electron onto this side. So it's neutral and neutral. Left-hand side equals the right-hand side. This, oh, I'm sorry. This was losing electrons oxidation, my oxidation half reaction. This is gaining electrons reduction. This is my reduction half reaction. Okay, so I have two half reactions, an oxidation half reaction, a reduction half reaction. So in total, I have a net reaction, right? A redox reaction. So in order to figure out my net reaction, I'm gonna draw a line here. 
and I'm gonna add the left hand side stuff, all my reactants, put my arrow down, and then all my products, I'm gonna put those down. And so, but the first, but I gotta fix one thing before I do that, and it's this. I have two electrons being produced and only one taken in. That's not balanced. If I gave away two dollars, and there's only one dollar that's been gained out there, like it doesn't make sense. Somebody else must have picked up the dollar. So I have to fix that by saying, okay, if this is giving away two electrons, then this must happen twice. So it gave away two electrons, and this one picked up an electron, and that one picked up an electron, and that happened, those picking ups were twice of them, two of them. So now I can say, okay, I've got two electrons, I've got two G1 pluses, and I've got two AG solids. Now I can write it down. So what I'm left with is I have a zinc from here. I have two um, electrons, but they're going to cancel out from those two electrons. You always want your electrons to cancel out. And I have two AG1 pluses. Arrow for my products. I have two silver solids and I have a zinc two plus. This is my net, my net redox, oh, my, my net redox reaction. What happened in the NO3 minuses? Well, they didn't change, right? Here and here, still NO3 minuses. An unchanged ion is called a spectator ion. So we've removed the spectator ions and we're left with a net redox reaction, just like we were, just like we did in Chem 20. One last thing is that uh, if this is being oxidized, if it's giving away, it's forcing these to be gained. And so if you have an oxidation half reaction, this is called a reducing agent. So the reducing agent is the zinc. The zinc is a reducing agent. It is saying to AG1+, you are going to take my electron. You are going to be reduced. So it's a reducing agent. And likewise, the silver one pluses are saying, hey, zinc, give me your electron. And it's causing the zinc to be oxidized. Give me your electron. So if I have the AG1 pluses forcing the zincs to be oxidized, they're called oxidizing agents. So whatever is reduction will be your oxidizing agent, and whatever is oxidized will be reducing agent.